here we are my secrets of money management it's so important that you manage your money correctly as you're going to see from various uh, systems I'm going to show you the difference between managing your money one way or not managing your money at all and uh, it's just a world of difference the creation of wealth is going to come not from being a good trader but from managing your money correctly the basic rules right here bet small to win big I'll never forget I was in a casino with a friend of mine who was a huge bond trader and also a gambler in Las Vegas and uh, he was playing I forget what it was craps roulette and uh, the pit boss came up to him and said Charlie D I like you you know that to win big you gotta bet big and I was thinking to myself that's why the casinos are in business because if you bet big eventually you got it you're gonna lose big so there's no need to bet big because if you bet often enough one of those bets is gonna be wrong and you will lose big so we don't bet big we bet small we have a consistent advantage in the game just as a casino does and we can win so when we do get tagged for a loss we're still alive we didn't put it all on one roll of the dice the creation of wealth does not come from being a good trader as much as from how you manage your money large bets will have large losses when I won the World Trading Cup Championship uh, probably I had a hot streak in the market and maybe I was a good trader maybe I wasn't but why I was able to take the ten thousand dollars to 1.1 million dollars in uh, in less than a year was uh, the money management system that I use was a very aggressive money management system probably too aggressive for most people even for me um, but that's what created the high turnover in the account uh, the rapid expansion of the equity was how I managed the money so we're going to get into the money management rules uh, let's look at another clip here this is so important it's all about you when it comes to money management it isn't about me and it's not about the market it starts with you first of all you need to know what is your risk factor how much money are you willing to lose on a trade and say well I would rather have won it but I can live with that loss how much money do you have what's the size of your bankroll and how much will your system or will you allow yourself to lose on any one trade so we're going to look at what your emotional response is to losing money how much money you have to invest with how much money you have to trade with we can't put all of that on one bet that would be a big bets big bets lose big right and then how much will you lose on any one given trade not on a string of trades but what's the largest loss you're going to allow yourself to have on any given trade these are the elements we need to control now money management is really the defensive part of trading uh, traders have an offense that's trade selection finding setup markets entry techniques stops all that type of stuff the only defense that we have the only defense is money management that's our defensive shield you know when you look at sporting events the teams that win the Super Bowls are always the teams that have the best defense both teams got there because they have really strong offenses but the ones that win the Super Bowls are the ones that have the best defense and I think it's just so true of traders as well if you don't have a good defense you're gonna get back a lot of money you may even end up a loser so this is our defense we need to know about you we need to know how much money you have and how much you can lose on a given trade once we have that we can start to make some sense out of money management so let's look next at my formula for money management here is the formula we're going to take your account balance that's how much money you have to trade with multiplied by a risk factor I'll talk to you more about that divided by the largest loss that you're going to allow yourself to have so it's your account balance times your risk factor and your risk factor is going to be different than mine divided by the largest loss that you're going to allow yourself to have within your system or within the trading parameters of you as a trader that's going to then tell us how many contracts you should be trading this is what it looks like if you have one hundred thousand dollars in your account that's high but let's assume that for a moment that means you have ten thousand dollars that you can have at risk if you lose it you can walk away and say gee huh, I would rather have not lost that much money but I can live with that you're going to take that ten thousand dollars and divide by the largest loss you will allow yourself to have let's say you're always going to use a stop loss of twenty five hundred dollars you will not lose more than that because you're using a stop loss so you would divide the twenty five hundred dollars into the ten thousand dollars telling you you have a number of four or four contracts you can trade if you were in this market with four contracts and lost twenty five hundred dollars per contract 
you would have your $10,000 loss. Your 10% risk factor would be hit. Again, you don't like it, but you can live with it. So this formula tells you how many contracts to trade. Most people don't have a clue how many to trade. On one, one trade, they have two contracts. On the next trade, one. The next trade, they have five. The, there's all over the board. There's no systematic application of anything. They're guessing. They think, oh, this looks like a good trade. They put on a lot of a lot of contracts, and guess what? It was a bad trade. Then the next trade, they're a little frightened of, so they put on one contract, and yeah, you got it. That was a winning trade. So they're not consistent in their application. They have too much on the losing trades, not enough on the winning trades. They lack consistency. This formula will give you consistency, and it will give you a lot more than that. It will give you a way to have an exponential gain of your account, but it really is important so you're not overtrading the market. It tells you exactly how many contracts to trade. Now you know what your risk factor should be, though. Well, generally speaking, your risk factor should be between 2 and 10%. If you want to win a trading championship, you're going to really go for the gold medal here. 10% is pretty high. I've actually traded with a 25 and 30% risk factor, but I would only encourage that for somebody who's very experienced and very close to the market. Most of us should have about a 5% risk factor. 2 to 5%, that's a pretty good number. 8%, you're getting a little high. So on a $100,000 account, if I have a 5% risk factor, it means I can lose $5,000 on a trade. In this example, if I were to divide that by the $2,500, I can trade two contracts, that's all. On $100,000, I can only trade two contracts. Now, a lot of people say, well, you should be investing more of your money. No, you really shouldn't, because if you bet big, yeah, you're going to lose big. We're not going we're to bet small and let the exponential gain in our account create the large winnings. The formula that I've given you is going to allow you to compound your gains this is the magic of compounding. I think it was Albert Einstein who said that was the ninth wonder of the world. We do this in a real simple fashion. We're going to increase the number of contracts we have when we're winning, and we're going to decrease the number of contracts when we're losing. Well, here's an example. The one we just gave, $100,000, with a 10% risk factor, you're going to trade four contracts of the commodity. Well, the same account now goes to maybe $150,000. So you've got a $15,000 risk factor divided by $2,500, and you're now going to be trading about six contracts. So as you make more money, you'll be trading more contracts, and as you have less money in your account, if you start to lose money, you'll cut back. Let's say you start at $100,000 and you have a real tough go in the market. Your account drops to $80,000. That can happen. Well, 10% of $80,000 is $8,000 divided by the $2,500. You're now going to be trading three contracts. You'll have fewer contracts as you're losing money. You'll keep cutting back. But when you get on a string of winners, you're going to push it by increasing the number of contracts you have. Does it make a difference? Oh, let me tell you. Well, not only let me tell you, let me show you the difference this can make.